today we're going to be making a spiral track. How do you think it works? Right, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Oh, that looks like fun. Hey, why don't we do something like that? You'll need some scissors, some tape, some glue, some elastic bands, some paints, a paintbrush, a stone, some paper plates, some pens, and a cardboard tube. We're going to start with one of our paper plates and use these elastic bands to mark up the center. Put one around the middle and then one over the top like this so they cross over. With a pen, I'm going to mark out the center and draw a line down like this. Now, drawing around the base of our tube, I'm going to draw a circle so we know where to cut. Lastly, we just cut all this out and cut along the line. We need three of these in total, so I'm just going to do this two more times. Now we have our three main pieces. Okay, I think we're going to decorate these. I've done mine with some fun patterns like this. What will yours look like? Oops, remember to clean your hands afterwards. Now we can do the same thing with our tube. I'm just going to paint mine orange and mark where we're going to put each of our sections. Remember, you'll want to separate it into three sections like how I've done mine. Oh, careful, Molly. Hmm, looks like this isn't going to stand up on its own. So let's take the stone that we grabbed earlier and glue it just inside the base so this end is heavier than the other one. Now it'll stand up. Time to take our first section. Put it down like this and put your tube right in the middle. Now, if we lift this bit up and place a little bit of tape here, here, and here, it'll stay in place. Now we just need to do the same with our other two plates, securing them in a spiral shape as we go. Now let's take our ping pong ball and test it out. Oh, that didn't quite work how we wanted it to. Let's try again. Hmm, it looks like we're going to have to do something to keep the ball rolling down our spiral. Oh, I know. I'm going to take this piece of paper and fold it so we can make two at once. Then I'm going to draw out this shape, kind of like a big flat semicircle. Now I'll cut the bottom off and the curved edge and make a lot of little snips along this end. We can fold these over to make tabs. Now that we know where the ball falls off on our spiral, we can glue these on as barriers to keep it from dropping. Let's try this again. Hey, there we go. Now it works. Brilliant. The force of gravity pulls the ball down towards the ground. This track is very steep and there is very little friction between the ball and the track. So it rolls down our spiral very quickly. The heavier the object, the greater the gravitational pull. Why not experiment with other types of round objects, maybe marbles or lumps of clay? See what happens when objects of different weights roll down the same track. Excellent work, everyone. Another successful experiment. Did you learn something new today? Good.